What is going on guys? It is your boy T Stingray guys and today guys we have another video out guys and today we are playing the scary story ride and guys I have not played really much horror games or horror stories more to say in my channel and today is gonna be the first time I am going to play a horror story. I'm scared about this and excited at the same time guys you have no idea. I kind of want to see what the story is all about, but at the same time, it might be a little bit too scary. So, let's get in here, guys. But before we get in here, guys, make sure you guys smack that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And make sure you guys click that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I post a video or when I go live. The Scary Stories Ride Hide and Seek. The Scary Stories Ride Hide and Seek. Hold on to your seat. This one is a real shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Update new Victorian theater, new track with lights and superior scene viewing. Have fun. Can't wait. Let's get in this baby. Let's get it. Oh, wow. This is very, very nice. You guys can see all the stories that are available right now. So there is what is this? The fair tale ride? Ooh. There's also hide and seek, which what we're actually checking out today. The Passenger, which we'll check out in another video. The Golden Arm, The Babysitter, I See You. Oh my gosh, that's actually looking pretty creepy to like look at him, my boy. That's actually really creepy. So if you guys do want me to check out the other stories in another video, let me know in the comments down below, baby. Let's get it, man. Alright, so, you know, this is a very nice theater, guys. And as you guys can see, coming soon, Scary Stories Ride a stormy night sooth and mothman incident mothman incident yeah this mothman incident so those are the stories that are coming out pretty soon guys so let's get in this man hello pretty lady how you doing hey i kind of don't want to get in the ride anymore i kind of kind of want to go on a date with you my girl okay you know what they want us to <laughs> my bad i know you guys want me to go in the rides man okay here we go Ooh, entrance. This is a very nice theater. Really old-fashioned, but I like it, man. All right, let's get in here. Entrance. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, this is dark in here, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of creepy. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. You scared me there for a second. I thought that was somebody. All right, here we go, guys. Hide and seek. I hope you guys are enjoying this, man. Here we go, baby. Dan and Melaine were getting married in a week, so they invited their best friends over to Melaine's house for a house party. Or for a party at their house. <laughs> Alright, so look at your boys. Alright, we got we got some Coca-Cola. We got some, what is that, some chips? I don't know why that chip's in a box. It's usually in a bag, but I guess they want to do it in a box because this is Roblox. <laughs> We got some soda cans, and we got a lot of people, a good amount of people. So let's go ahead and go to the next room. Melaine still lived in her childhood home, which was always their favorite place to hang out since they were kids. Okay, so she lived here for a very long time now, guys. So she's all grown up, but that's her childhood home. They all started talking about their favorite childhood game. Hide and seek. I like hide and seek too, man, but I seem to be losing every time that I play, so I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Alright, here we go. They decided they just had to play the game, and Dan was picked as the seeker. Ooh, so they're actually playing hide and seek now. Dan began counting to 100 as everyone ran from the room to hide. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, this is super creepy, guys. Okay. Dan finished counting. I don't know how you counted all the way to 100, my boy. We only counted to 10 before, but you counted to a whole 100. Ready or not, here I come. He yelled loudly. Ooh. Oh my gosh, but... Boy, can I have one of those sodas over there? Like, you just gonna let me, like, just sit here and not have anything, my boy? <laughs> Alright, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you, my boy. He went through the house, looking for all his friends. So, well, you gotta, you gotta find them, man. I'm not sure how big this house is, but if the house is big, it's gonna be a very long time to find everybody. He looked everywhere, but was having a hard time finding anyone. Ooh, wonder why. There's like a lot of people. He should at least find somebody, right? 
He finally finds Gerald in the kitchen pantry eating pretzels. <laughs> Gerald always eating all the pretzels in the pantry. But you know, can I can I have some, my boy? Like, can 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 your boy get some? Of them pretzels. I love pretzels, guys. Every time I get like mixed like trails, I would always pick the pretzels out. I don't know why. Like especially those hot Cheetos mixed trails, those are super good. And I always pick out the pretzels. Dan and Gerald went back to the living room and yelled for everyone to come out. All right, so they just like you know they screaming out like, "Hey, it's over. Get out of here. I can't find you guys." All right, so they're screaming at everybody, guys, for them to come out already. So. Everybody should be coming out. There we go. Everyone came out running back. I told you guys. I told you we were gonna come out. Everybody came running back into the living room. They were having so much fun. I don't see how. What's the fun of that? Like literally, the dude found like one guy, <laughs> and he told everybody to like you know come forward. I mean, if there's a time limit, I guess. But you boy, like you should be trying to find everybody. Like not just calling everybody back in the room if you know what i mean I, i'm just playing fair they all started talking about where they were hiding they laughed and laughed i i guess i mean i wouldn't tell anybody where i was hiding because i'd probably hide there again a few minutes later they noticed that melaine wasn't there she's probably like the king you know hide and seek player out here everyone began shouting her name melaine you can come out now but there was no answer. Like, they're kind of worried, guys. Like, look at her. She, she looks really worried. This guy kind of looks worried. He looks worried. They all look worried. I know your boy still wants some pretzels, but... <laughs> they all look worried, guys. And I have that same shirt right there. That's cool. Nice. Okay, here we go. They were all getting nervous now. Okay, let's split up and look for her, Dan said. They all agreed and went and looked for Melane. Okay, so they're splitting up, guys, which I don't agree. I don't like to split up. Okay, they searched every square inch of the house but could not find Melane. Like, why can't you find Melane? So, they're checking in the kitchen, guys. I don't know why your boy's checking in, you know, down there. Like, I feel like that's like a really small spot to hide in. And I feel like that place would be, you know, filled with pots and pans. Alright, under the bed, probably. And then they check every single door. Alright, so let's go. What's happening next, baby? Gerald and Grace even looked in the attic, but Melane was nowhere to be found. Wow, they really had to go all the way up to the attic just to find Melane, guys. I'll help, I'll, let me see if I can help you guys find Melane. Let me see. Is she in one of these boxes? Melane, quit playing around. We're trying to find find you and play another game. That looks kind of creepy. Is that Melane? <laughs> Alright. Melane's parents just got home from their night out. Dad told them everything. So. I just want to tell you guys that I cannot find your daughter. <laughs> we played hide and seek and she's probably the best hide and seek player in the world or she probably just went missing. She probably went missing but you know what? Have some soda. <laughs> I like your dress my girl. An hour already passed so Melane's parents decided to call the police. So your boy's tripping out right here because you know it was his fault that they wanted to all play hide and seek. The dad's rocking that awesome hair right there calling the police. You know, the girls are comforting the mama, you know, I, I would too, you know, because, you know, she, they all look sad and worried and your boy's just trying to hear the conversation, <laughs> just trying to hear the conversation right here with the police, so, what's going on next? The police searched the entire property and questioned everyone, but there was no sign of Elaine anywhere. Alright, so the police are here, guys, like, they're literally investigating and asking everybody, what the heck happened? Like, why can't you, why can't you guys find her? Like, is she like the champion, you know, hide and seek player in the world? Like, we don't know, guys. Like, why can't you guys find her? They made a full report and put an APB, but said there was nothing else they could do at this time. They slowly left the house. So, as you guys don't know, uh, the, they probably just kind of like put a police report on, you know, on Melane for going missing. Probably put like best hide and seek player in the world. Oh my gosh. No one ever seen or heard from Elaine ever again. What? Why? Dan blamed himself, thinking that Elaine just didn't want to marry him, so perhaps she ran away. Guys, this story is getting like super creepy like i'm getting the chills like i'm legitly getting the chills and i'm playing at nighttime, guys so this is like the worst time 
to play this game. And it's creepy, especially with the music in the background. 15 years later, Dan was a very successful architect, but he never got over Milan. So, your boy blew up in 15 years. You know, he blew up. You guys, <laughs> he's just looking out the window. He looks kind of mad. But I don't know what he's looking at because the blinds are closed, my boy. Like, what are you, what are you trying to do? Okay, so, he's kind of mad. You know, he hasn't seen Milan in 15 years, but he's a very successful architecture, which is really good. Good for you, my boy. I like the black and white contrast in your room. You should actually change it up and add some color in there. <laughs> then one day, Dan's mother called him. She told him that Melaine's parents were selling the house. Wow. That's a shocker, guys. So, you know, if Melaine is still hiding somewhere, they're selling the house. <laughs> so that means she'll probably, you know, still be hiding in there. His heart was broken, but then she told him something terrible. Oh... I don't know what that is. I mean, your boy looks pretty sad. And I'm pretty terrified. I'm about to poop my pants because this is super scary, guys. Oh, gosh. All right, what's the news, man? Just tell us the news. She told him that when Melaine's parents brought in a moving company to pack up all her things, they found something. Did they find Melaine's body? Like, what did they find? Oh, my gosh. In the basement, they found a very heavy trunk, and Melaine's parents unlocked it and opened it. I'm getting the chills, guys. I, I don't even want to touch this anymore. Like, I'm scared. Like, what's going to happen? Oh, my gosh. They found Melaine inside. That's where she was hiding. The trunk lid must have been locked, and she got locked inside, basically. Oh, my gosh. So, guys... Melaine got locked in the trunk and she was there for 15 years. She practically died in there. Dan collapsed and began to cry. The one place they did not check was the basement. No one ever hid there before. I mean, your boy checked the attic, but didn't check the basement. I mean, come on. you. I, I'd check the basement first before I would check the attic, but your boy's crying over there. He's all sad. Dan imagined poor Melaine calling out for help inside a trunk. Dan! Help me! Dan! But Dan never came because he couldn't hear her. Oh my god. This is kind of sad. This is kind of sad. I'm sorry, my boy. I am super, super sorry. He's just crying on the floor right there. This is horrible. Oh my gosh. I'm super scared. Dan has nightmares about Milane and the trunk all the time. He can hear her screaming for him to help her. Oof. That's kind of creepy right there, guys. Super, super creepy. Oh my gosh, I hear some screaming, guys. What is going on? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, is that her? <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Guys. That was like super creepy. I have to go back. I have to go back, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, look at her, guys. Yo, Melane, you did not age well, my girl. Oh, that's super creepy, guys. I have chills. Like, I legitly, <laughs> I have chills all over my body right now, guys. Oh my gosh. If you guys want me to play another one of this, I will play one. Just let me know which one you guys want to see. Comment down below right now. Oh my gosh. Don't forget to visit our other attractions. So there's the Golden Arm, the Babysitter, the Passenger, and I believe there's one more. I forgot what it was. Here we go. Alright, so we made it to the end, guys. Good job, VP7 Studios. Oh my gosh. I'm leaving out of here, guys. I am like super terrified right now. That was awesome though. That was super awesome. I was actually really scared. And that was super creepy. And I cannot wait to see and check out the other story guys. But that was crazy story man. So they played hide and seek. Could not find Melane. And she's been locked up inside a trunk in the basement for 15 years. Until they had to move guys. Like she was literally like a skeleton by the time they found her. So. That's very sad, 
but also very creepy at the same time so if you guys enjoyed that video make sure you guys comment down below what you guys want to see next because i love doing these stories i fell in love like i done scary games before but when it comes to scary stories like that's creepy so comment down below guys what you guys want to see hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys click that post notification bell and subscribe if you guys haven't i really appreciate the new subscriber guys i hope you guys are enjoying this video and i will see you guys in the next video peace out